viruses have their own genetic code, but they don't have the machinery to copy their DNA. So viruses need your cell's machinery to reproduce themselves. Every cell in your body is a tiny factory, constantly making proteins. Your genetic code, or DNA, directs every activity. Protein-making machinery in the cell reads the cell's own DNA and makes sure the cell proteins go where they're needed. Viruses have their own genetic code but they don't have the machinery to copy their DNA. So viruses need your cell's machinery to reproduce themselves. A virus starts this process by using the keys on its surface to gain entry. Like a Trojan horse, it enters the cell. The virus releases its own DNA into the unsuspecting cell and hijacks the protein-making machinery. Now, this vital cell function becomes an assembly line for new virus particles. No longer in service to your body, the cell now serves the virus, manufacturing thousands of new virus particles, which are released to enslave more cells, thousands and thousands more. Every cell in your body is a tiny factory, constantly making proteins. Your genetic code, or DNA, directs every activity. Protein-making machinery in the cell reads the cell's own DNA and makes sure the cell proteins go where they're needed. Viruses have their own genetic code, but they don't have the machinery to copy their DNA. So viruses need your cell's machinery to reproduce themselves. A virus starts this process by using the keys on its surface to gain entry. Like a Trojan horse, it enters the cell. The virus releases its own DNA into the unsuspecting cell and hijacks the protein-making machinery. Now, this vital cell function becomes an assembly line for new virus particles. No longer in service to your body, the cell now serves the virus, manufacturing thousands of new virus particles, which are released to enslave more cells thousands and thousands more.